Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Making MLS Offers live call where we make MLS offers. Take a guess. Live. Anyways, so I am going to get out 10 offers today. And what that means is that means I got to be super duper efficient. So I'm going to get right into it and we're going to bang out some calls, bang out some offers. It's going to be great. Okay, let me share my screen. Boom. All right, so first person that we're going to call is going to be Jason. I'm going to pull it up on Zillow. Read the description real quick. Um, newer AC and water heater. Um, once complete value is going to go through the roof. That Okay, cool. Um, very descriptive. Okay, that's pretty much all the info we have on it. Okay, cool. Let me give him a call. Please leave your message for... Okay, no answer. We'll double dial him. No answer again. So what we're going to do is we are going to drag him to the no response category. That's going to automatically send him a text. And we're going to update our KPIs. That's one MLS listing call. And we will move on to the next one. Next one is Linda. Let's pull it up on Zillow. currently pending so we're going to do a backup offer um new roof 1920 hvac replaced recently let's make sure we have that in the details okay let's give her a call Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the turn, please record your... Okay, we're going to double dial them. Good morning, Harvey. Who else do I have here with me? Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Okay, Linda didn't answer, so we're going to put her in the no response category.
that's going to automatically send her a text. And we are also going to track our KPIs and on to the next one. We'll pull it up on Zillow. Okay, give them a call. Morning. Hey, Elvin. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on uh, Mandera Road. Uh, Mandera Road. Forty-five. Uh, oh, yeah. that that one isn't listed by me. Oh, I thought I thought that was your listing. No, that's somebody else. Oh, okay. I had it before though. Oh, what what happened with this one? Um, seller didn't go to closing table. Mm. Why? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I think because we were assigning the contract and he just wasn't happy with that situation. So he canceled with us and listed it with a realtor. Um, so okay. that's what he's doing now. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you happen? I mean, since I got you on the phone, um, I'm looking for any kind of like fix and flip, fix and hold properties. Do you have anything like that? um yeah we're we're a wholesale company so we got a lot of properties um for fix and flips but um most of them aren't in the tampa area i don't know where you're looking where's your uh where's your target market uh well we're in like five different states so we're not like target any specific market but um i mean we've all of our florida deals we have tallahassee pensacola panama city Trenton, Florida, Southport, Florida, Panama City, Florida. Let's see what else. Really, we're only looking for stuff in like the major markets, like anything in uh, the Miami area, Tampa area, Orlando, Jacks, uh, Fort Myer, Cape Coral. What a, um, I mean, we have a Miami deal, but it's under contract now. But um, what about Tallahassee? Uh, nah, no, not really. No. What about Pensacola? It's pretty small. I mean, not Pensacola. That one's actually under contract. No, no, we actually have another one out there, Pensacola. Okay. Um, Port, Sh nope, that one's under contract. We might take some of your Charlotte. Um, yeah, we had one out there, but all the major market stuff goes t within 24 yeah. hours. Yeah. Like, we have no issues getting rid of those. But Youngstown, Florida, I don't even know where that is. Me so neither. one out there. <clears throat> I have no clue. <laughs> um, but they're good deals. Uh, Melrose, Florida. These are all Panhandle, I believe. Melrose and Youngstown. Yeah, I'm not really a big uh, fan of Panhandle, to to be frank with you. It's uh, it's too okay. far out. Um, but no anything like if you want to add me to your buyers list, anything in the Jacksonville Metropolitan, Orlando Metropolitan, Tampa Metropolitan, Miami, um, Fort Myers, Sarasota, Cape Coral, that whole area. Uh, We'll take a look at any of that and uh we wholesale as well so you know if it's not us we can bring you a buyer if you're cool on that mm -hmm. yeah sometimes it's okay as long as there's one already lined up you know but of course we don't like uh jving and then waiting around for you to find one you know of course, <laughs> we, of course. i mean because we we use the mls and we have like cartel <laughs> level investor list and we have um other than that, we've got like 20,000 buyers apart from that. So it's not like we have an issue getting rid of anything. But we're more than happy, I mean, like to pay you if you just kind of bring us a buyer. Um, but yeah, we could work something out, I'm sure, if we come across something that you guys like. If you would like, just text me your info and so I can put you in our database. And if we get something in major met metropolitan areas of Florida, I'll, I can send you a um, send you our deals and if it's something that you think you have a buyer for then or for yourself then we can work something out yeah that would be great um i'll send you i'll send you my deals email i have somebody watching the email and underwriting it like pretty much 24 7 um and yeah 
yeah, let's do something together. But just just the major markets, please. Don't don't send us anything uh, in a really tiny city. We we we'll just t politely decline it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you, Elvin. You have a wonderful day. Yeah, no problem. You too. Take care. Okay, I'm going to send him a text. We are looking for SFH 1000 plus. Okay, so we're going to track our KPIs. That's going to be an MLS listing called agent conversation, but also that's going to be an ACK wholesaler added. Good morning, Thurston. Good morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Deb. Thank you guys for being here with me. Appreciate you guys. Okay, so we got this guy lined up. Yep. Um, apparently this is no longer his listing, so I'm going to make a, and then also they said that, the they didn't like that the seller didn't like that they were wholesaling it. So they, um, they didn't go to the closing table, I guess. Um, so the new person that's running this listing is Bobby Parks. Um, so I'm going to add Bobby Parks. And I'm going to call Bobby, the new listing agent. Hey, Bobby Parks Jr. with Jerry Westfall Real Estate. I'm on the other line. Hey, Bobby Parks Jr. with Jerry Westfall Real Estate. Okay, no answer. So I'm going to drag him to the no response category. <clears throat> and that's going to send him an automated text. And then I'm going to update my KPIs. And move on to the next one. We'll pull it up on Zillow. So this one's pending, so I'm gonna put in a backup offer. Okay, step inside to discover the warmth of this historic gem where recent updates to the roof, electrical, and plumbing seamlessly blend with the original charm. Okay. Let me take that down. Oh, wait a minute. I already have details on this one. Okay, I'll call it.
Good morning. This is Gate Artie. How can I help hey, you? Hey, Gate. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on uh, Whitehurst Street. Are you a realtor or are you interested in um, the property at the buyer? I'd like to purchase it for myself. Okay. <clears throat> let me just, uh, that definitely belongs to one of my agents. So let me, let me find out which sure. agent has it so I can direct you the right way. Right, thank you. Is, is our white horse under contract? Um, it's pending, but I'd like to submit a backup offer. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me give you uh, that lead agent on that. His name is Daryl Ash. Uh, can I give you his number? Is it the one that ends in uh, 1548? That's correct. Okay, I got it here then. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Gate. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. So let me call the right agent, Daryl Ash. Good morning, Natting. Good morning, Marcellus. You've reached your LS. I'm not available. Wait, we'll double dial. Hey, good morning, Daryl. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Hey, yes, sir. Good morning. I'm calling about the property that you have listed on Whitehurst. Uh, I would like to submit a backup offer. Is that one, like, are they past the inspection period, or what's that one looking like? Yeah, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little complicated, um, but we're, we're, we're trying to get to the closing table here. We're almost we're just, the, the buyer is good. We just have to get the AC company. Um, Squared away. Once that's done, we should be closing. But if you want to submit something, we'll take it. Sure. Sure. Sure, Mr. Smith. And so I just want to confirm a couple of details. That way I get my numbers right. Um, so from what I understand, roof is less than six years. Uh, the AC unit is unknown. Water heater is really old. And electric and plumbing are less than five years. Um, I was on the phone yesterday. My, my sorry, my, my bad, Mr. Smith. Uh, so the, the 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 I don't know about really old, but there's no air, there's no central air and heat. As a matter of fact, on a um, uh, window unit, uh, but the the plumbing electric has been updated in it. Um, hot water heater is on a uh, gas system and the stove is on a gas system, so it's wired for gas. Um, I'm not sure what else you said, but I think, hope I hit all the marks. Okay. Um, okay. I, I, I had some notes on my file. I had somebody else um, following this one from before, and they had taken some notes. So it sounds like all of that is accurate. Um, any major issues with this property that I should budget for? Not that I can think of. No, not okay. at all. Okay, cool. The AC is the biggest one. We yeah. just have to run new HVAC throughout the house, don't we? Correct. Yeah, that's no problem. Um, 
All right, awesome. Let me get to work on this. Let me put together an offer. What's your email address? I'll email it over to you. It's uh, Realtor, R-E-A-L-T-O-R, Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L, excuse me, at gmail.com. Damn, you secured that one? Those ones are hard to get. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm telling you. Awesome. I did it, I did it back in 2012. Oh, there you go. Kind of got a... Yeah, I got, I got, I beat, I beat the, the, the techie people coming in. Yep, you know people literally go in and, and just secure them just for the sake of selling them afterwards. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I beat that way. Thank God. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let me get to work on this, and uh, I'll just send you a text after I submit my offer. All right. Thanks, thanks. Daryl. Take care. Talk soon. And we will update our KPIs. Do, 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 do. Um, Matting says, hi, Nathan, just curious how you're calling from the U.S. while in Canada. Phone subscription, web protocol. Um, I just do it for my CRM. You should get my CRM. Text, text me the keyword systems to 813-437-1709. I'm going to send you a free AI-powered wholesaling snapshot. Um, for go high level and yeah, dude, like you can get, you can get any phone numbers that you want, uh, us phone numbers, Canada phone numbers, whatever you want. And it just keeps you super organized. All your calls are recorded. You can do email blasts, social media. Um, you can have automated follow-ups. You can also have AI bots and like I build AI bots and I give them away for free with my snapshot. Um, so you can have AI bots that have conversations with these agents and buyers and whatnot. It's it's really, really great. Um, so I'd encourage you to text me the keyword systems, S-Y-S-T-E-M-S, -S, to 813-437-1709, and I will send you the free snapshot. Um Natting says, will it work outside the U.S. and Canada? Yes, as long as you have an American company because you need to have it registered to an American company. Okay, so this one here that I'm looking at has like little to no details. There's no photos. Um, so I'm actually just going to skip this one because there's no photos and I'm not going to waste my time. Abandoned. Hundred and thirty nine days on market. Okay, so I have some details from before. I have some comps from before. But I don't trust those comps anymore. It's been too long. Let me give them a call. Mm. 
Hello, this hey, is Brandy. Hey, Brandy. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Bayshore Drive. Yeah. Hey, so I just wanted to confirm some details with you. It's it's looking like this one's a teardown. What's what's your perspective on it? Yeah, it's, it's uh, a teardown. I brought in a couple contractors in to look at it, and they kind of specialize in demo. So, you know, they also agree that's teardown. Mm-hmm. Um. I could send you a video walkthrough so you could see the condition. Well, I I, I did have uh, one of my acquisitions people uh, call on it before, I think a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and they had the notes okay. that it was a teardown. I just wanted to confirm, since he's gone now, I wanted to confirm the details. If you don't, there's no need to send me a video if it's a, if it's a teardown. Um, we'll budget for a scrape. What's what's the story on this one? Why is the, uh, why is the seller... Why isn't it sold yet? Um, the seller still lives in the property. Um, it's not really sold because just the market right now, like I've looked and no other waterfront property is sold either. So the ones on Madeira Beach, they're all just still sitting there. Um, it's the second least expensive one. That's a great view. Like it's not facing a canal, so it's nice, you know. Now, um, because it is a teardown, People are kind of looking for already open lots that are, you know, already cleared. Yeah. However, the woman still lives in the property. She's on the property for many, many years. She should not be in the property. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like so there's situation. no AC in the property. I'm sorry. That sounds like a tough situation. Yeah, but, you know, it's just part of the real estate game. So I tell, I tell people everything sells. It just, you got to come to a good one, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She was initially very firm on the, the price. Even when I got her to do a price reduction, she reduced it by ten thousand dollars. So she was just a little um, firm about it. You know, they know that the views better. They know the, the value of Madeira Beach homes. You know, much they sell for. So it actually is a good value. I got uh, prices for a tear down or to demolish the property and take down the trees and everything. And I got two quotes, both at thirteen thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. And so, um, of course, the, the sellers will take that consideration. Um, and she's only a woman. Her brother is in town now also. So he's been a little bit more easier to, uh, you know, negotiate with, and, you know, explain to her the situation being, you know, that she does need to leave the property and uh, be a little more flexible on the price. But um, because of it being the second least expensive, even landlocked, yeah. You know, higher. Hmm. We've got plenty of offers we have, but most of them have been like from people that want to either renovate the property, which I can't stress to them, you know, enough how it's not really just like a quick renovation. Yeah. Why why is it and, that you think that it's a teardown? Like is there like structural issues? Is it sinking? Yeah, it's structural. Um it had flooded. That was one in so the neighboring homes, they also got water intrusion. However, this one doesn't have any AC going through the property. She's not up kept the property at all. And so, like, you could see in the walls where the damage oh, was. Oh, no. Oh, no. And she's still living yeah. in that. Oh. oh. Right. That's why I'm like, you know, we need to get her out of the property. Yeah. But her brother's in town now, so he sees that. But, uh, yeah, the roof, not the roof, but uh, the ceiling. There's like a cross space even between the ceilings. You could see like the damage there. Did she have insurance and, uh, on the property? Did the insurance not cover the remediation? Right. She doesn't. Oh, no. A lot of people that own their properties, they just kind of skip on the insurance part. Um, she didn't have flood insurance, which is why she got into a little uh, tough situation of not getting much help when it did flood. Now, properties there, they don't really flood that much, uh, but we had that hurricane come through that they finally get the properties. And neighboring homes are just fine. You know, they get the water out. And, you know, okay. And I did speak with the neighbors, but hers, she's just a zero upkeep. There's no AC run to the property, so she pretty much just had the door open to help dry out the property. Oh, man, that's that's unfortunate. I, I hope that her brother, yeah, really uh, like is. whether she sells this or not, I hope that her brother gets her into a, a safer environment because that is 
Yeah, she, she's here to take care of her, so he'll be pretty much um, uh-huh. keeping her or her sister. We'll take her. So. Okay. Well, it's been a little bit since we uh we made an offer. I'm gonna I'm gonna run my numbers again, see if there's any new comps, and I, okay. I think I have a note here. I don't know if this is right or if this was a misunderstanding, but um, I have a note saying no lower than seven hundred. Oh, um, yeah, definitely not lower than 700. And really, they're going to want to be in the 800s, but an offer is an offer. Okay. <laughs> you know, so if it's in paper, then I'll do what I can to uh, get them to agree okay. to something. Okay. All right, well, I'll get to work on that. And do I have your email? Uh, is it brandy.thomas at evrealestate.com? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll send you an email uh, with my offer as soon as I'm done underwriting. And I'll send you a text letting you know that I sent it. How does that sound? All right, sounds good. Now the homes on the, on Madeira Beach, you know, they sell for you know great value. Um, and again, this is the second least expensive property um, land lot. And so uh, again, the view is excellent. You know, it's going to be a great a property for somebody. I agree. It is an excellent view. Um, I really, I gotta I gotta see if the numbers pan out, especially with a build. Um, because there's such a, a long hold time on the builds that there's this really big mm-hmm. hidden cost that a lot of people don't understand. So I'm going to run the numbers. I'm going to see yeah. how I can like, you know, get it done the fastest. But when we're waiting on permits and materials and whatnot, we're kind of at the mercy, especially with properties in this high of a price range, you know, our holding costs are much mm-hmm. higher. Yeah. All right. Well, I will uh, keep the lady. You have my email address. Call me if you need anything else. Sounds good. Thank you, Brandy. Take care. Talk soon. My pleasure. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay, cool. We will send it to underwriting. We will track our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called agent conversation. Um, Natting says an American company means LLC registered in the US. Correct. Yep. Cool. So we got three in underwriting, um, two in underwriting complete. We're going to make some more calls and then we're going to start popping out some offers. I'm going to pull the next one up on Zillow. Uh, This one just sold March 8th. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, So we're going to put it as sold to others. Update. Cool. There's another John DePrio one. I want to see this because I have John DePrio in underwriting right now. Let me pull this one up on Zillow. This one listing was removed. Yep. So we're going to put this one as lost, listing removed.
Cute fixer upper ready for particular spectacular ideas to make this beauty shine. Great bones to work with, selling as is, right to inspect. Cool. Thank you for calling. This is Dina Carvajal with the car. Okay, we'll double dial. Thank you for calling. This is Dina Carvajal with the Carvajal Group. If hey, no answer. So what we're going to do is we are going to put her on the um, in the no response category, and that will automatically send her a text. Dina into no response, and then we are going to update our KPIs, and we will move on to the next one. My pleasure, Natting. Hey guys, if you're on Facebook, um, it would mean the world to me if you guys come over to YouTube because I really need to get my watch hours up. So I'm going to put the uh, the link in the comment section. Let me grab that for you guys. Share, copy, yeah, so here you go. If you're on Facebook, uh, please come over to YouTube. Helps a ton. Let me, uh, pop that on the Facebook comments as well. Boom, there you guys go. Yeah, please pop over to YouTube. Got to get those watch hours up. Okay, cool. So where did we leave off? Um, we are going to call our next one, George D. Pina. We're going to pull it up on Zillow. Three two SFR um, location yada 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 many updated features central HVAC and programmable thermostat yeah that's not much details so I'm gonna call it forwarded to an automated voice messaging we will double dial your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system okay. no answer three zero so we will send them a text george dipina Boom, update our KPIs. That's another MLS listing called. 
and on to the next. We're going to pull it up on Zillow. Under contract, accepting backup offers. Uh, one bathroom, yada, yada. Okay, cool. So let me give them a call. Hi, you reached the voicemail of Danny Pena. Okay, no answer. We'll double dial him. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, you reached the voicemail of Danny Pena with East Street Realty and hope. No answer. We're going to add him to the no response category. And we are going to update our KPIs. Cool. And then we will do the next one. William Ransom. We're going to pull it up on Zillow real quick. And it's currently pending. Okay. We'll make the call. Hello. Oh, sorry. Hey, William. Hello? My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have on Avocado Avenue. Yes. Hey, so I see that it's pending. I'd like to submit a backup offer, but just wanted to check. Are, are we past the inspection we, we period? We close next week. Yeah, brother. We're close next week. There's oh, no dude. More. Congratulations. We're not taking any more offers. Yeah. Sorry, no, man. don't be sorry at all, bro. That's that's a big win. I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. All right, man. Hey, I got to get off the phone, man. I'm about to take off on it. Oh, no worries. Take care. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. You too, bro. Okay, cool. So we're going to put this one under the, um, I don't really know where to place this one. We are going to abandon it. And if for some reason it sits on the market, my virtual assistant will see that and he'll resurrect it. Um, okay, give me one second. I have to use the washroom. Okay, freeze. Good.
Boom. I'm back. What's up, guys? <clears throat> okay, on to the next one. But we do get a track our KPI, so that's one MLS listing called one agent conversation. And now I would like to submit some offers. So let me refresh. Unlock my camera. See, now it'll follow me. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we have three in underwriting complete. Okay, so we're going to go offer template. Internet's kind of slow today. And attach my POF. POF. And then we're going to name it offer template. Or no, we're going to name it offer four. I don't know why I said offer template. Offer four property address. Send it. And then we're going to send them an SMS. Hey, contact first name. Send you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Cool. And now we can check that down as a written offer made. Um, agent follow up because that one was from before. And we can move it into the offer submitted category. <clears throat> cool. Now we have John DiPiro. 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 And same thing for him. So what I've been doing is I've been like prepping them. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm going to email you my offer. What's your email? And then I email them my offer and send them a text afterwards. So I'm going to use my offer template. Cool. And it's literally just copy and paste the info. Offer for property address, attach my POF, POF, send it. Hey, John, I just sent you my offer for 
property address. Did you receive it? Bam. And we will put him in the offer submitted category. We will track our KPIs. And I texted him this morning, so I'm not going to add a agent follow-up SMS because it already counted that. <clears throat> and on to the next one, Scott Hum. template use template bam just copy and paste purchase price EMD 2000 For four, property address, add my POF, bam, send him a text, hey, Scott, I just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? And we will drag him to the offer submitted category as well as we will update our KPIs. And because we texted him this morning, I'm not going to add any agent follow-up or anything like that because we already checked that off. Uh, cool. I'm going to hit that refresh button, see if we have any more that have came out of underwriting. Nope, that's it. So we're going to get back to calling. So next one we're going to call is Jane. And you know what? I want to get some energy going. I'm feeling uh, a little bit lethargic. I don't know if lethargic is the right word. Define lethargic. Lethargic means affected by lethargy, sluggish and apathetic. Define apathetic. Apathetic means... Showing our feelings. Yeah, I guess lethargic is the right word. So we want to get some energy going. We want to get the blood flowing. We can zoom out here. Um, so wiggle it out. Jiggle it out. Wiggle it out. Take a deep breath. Okay, cool. Because we want to be in a good state when we're calling them, right? We don't want to waste our time being in a bad state. Um. Okay, cool. So let me give them a call. Um, I'm going to pull it up on Zillow first. So they're asking 975. Nothing but the age of the roof, AC, water heater. Um, these are all exterior photos, but then again, in the conversation, I do see interior photos. Um, oh, the, the details there. Roof 18, AC2, water heater 18. Okay, good to know. All right, so let me just go ahead and call them.
Hello, you've reached Jane Salton Fest with Coastal Properties Group and Christy Finner. Okay, we're going to double dial her. Hello. Hey, Jane. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Brighton Circle. Hi, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, hey, so <clears throat> on this one here, I had uh, I had one of my acquisitions people following it before, but he's no longer with us, and I just wanted to touch base on it and see if it's something that's worth me resubmitting an offer on. Um, I do have the interior okay. pictures. I have uh, all the details on it, but I, I wasn't I wasn't understanding it correctly in the notes. Are you the owner of it as well? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what are you planning on doing with this one? Like it's, uh, it's been sitting here for a little bit now. Yeah, we've had it. Um, on, we have actually had it under contract three times. Okay. And, um, what's the, the first thing that happened is that the, um, that it was a lady buying it to have a builder build her house and, what she wanted was a kind of a country French courtyard type situation and um, with the pool and still have yard. And it was just what the builder could provide for her just was not going to fit mm. on the lot. Okay. Um, so that was that one. And the next one was the, um, the buyer what, and we thought this was going to be a good thing, but they ended up, um, uh, what was the second thing? It was they the builder wanted additional funds um, from them at, for a couple hundred thousand in additional funds, and so that they decided to pick a different builder. And they had a seven day inspection, and it was just getting ready to to run out. So, uh, so those are kind of the issues that have happened. And then the other one, the builder was an out of town builder and was not going to be able to, you know start when the other people wanted to. So they ended up having to find another builder. So it's just kind of, there's, you know, it's not like there's anything um, that's, you know, been bad with a lot or mm -hmm. anything. It's just that they, you know, we're, we're dealing with builders and um, you know, so now right now I do have a, an offer that just came in. Um, so we're just waiting on proof of funds for that, but I mean, we're definitely, you know, would be interested in an offer or, you know, a backup offer if we end up taking this one. Um, I think our the thing right now is that we just don't want a long inspection period. Mm -hmm. So, and we, and we're definitely not going to take, just to be honest with you, we're not taking anything under, you know, nine, we're not taking anything in the 800,000 range. Okay. So, I'll, I'll probably, I probably won't yeah. be your buyer then, to be honest with you. Um, it just okay. the numbers wouldn't pan out unless if it was lower than that. Right. Why is it? Why do you right. put that price on it? Is there something that I'm missing? Um. No. It's just that. Um. You know. It's it's just a great neighborhood. It's um. You know, there the comps at the time. I mean, like I said, we at, at this point, I think my husband is. If we don't sell it, we'll build. Okay. So I think that's kind of where we are, you know, so because it is, it's a great neighborhood. If we get what we want, then, you know, we'll sell it. If we, if we don't, then we're just going to scrape it and build ourselves. Okay. So it, we love the neighborhood. We've been there 21 years and, you know, it's, it's a great lot. It's a, it's so to us, it's worth it to do that if we don't get what we want it's just you know he wants to retire and i'd like to retire so mm -hmm. you know to sell it would make sense but you know if if we we have the ability to go ahead and scrape it and build so 
Okay. That's just kind of, and, and that's him. He's like, oh, I'm not going to take any lessons. <laughs> you, know? you know how it is. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I know. So question but, for you. Um, and sure. my numbers still might not work, but it's, it's worth uh, exploring. What if we were to do something creative? Because one of the major costs with, you know, taking this down is we have holding costs, we have uh, closing costs, right. all that stuff, right? What if we were to do something right. where like, you know, you guys hold it in your name, we do the renovations, we sell it and we split profit, something like that. That way we can reduce our costs and therefore net you guys more. Is that something that you guys have explored? Um, no, to, to tell you the honest truth, it needs, it's an old house um, to renovate and we've, we've thought about that as well, but um, you know, that water intrusion just did it for me. And the fact that it's right, you know, it's right at six feet in that area wow. and everything is built up. And so, um, because all the houses are built up around us, this last hurricane, we didn't get a lot of water in the house, but we did. Yeah. And, and we, there's nothing you can do about that. You know, um, it would just honestly not be worth somebody renovating it okay it just wouldn't make any sense yeah it's just basically worth a lot value and um you know and we just see it as as you know a great lot and you know and there's um i mean there's definitely comps that were lower and then there's um you know some that were at right at a million a million one you know 925 mm -hmm. 950 so you know so we feel you know that we're in that range i mean we obviously you know, we did just reduce it and we're not being unrealistic, but in the eights, this doesn't, you know, or, or even just for someone to renovate it. I, I, although it doesn't matter to me what someone does, but I just don't think that's the highest and best use of that particular lot. Okay. Okay. Well, not thanks for, uh, thanks for being so easy to talk to about it. There's a lot of <clears throat> oh, a lot people that are on the defensive and they're like, it's worth a million bucks and like, you know, well, right right yeah they'll be like oh just a little little yeah. little little small pool of water nothing nothing big I, I like that you're very transparent it helps us uh just get straight to finding the solution yeah. it, exactly and it just you know my husband says don't tell people they can't renovate but i just in good content i would not want someone to put a bunch of money in that house and then it flood again but not only that like you if know it, I just, somebody's somebody's gonna go with the impression that it can be renovated start their inspection period and then back out. Now you just wasted your time as well. Right. Exactly. So, you know, it's just, I, I'm trying to be honest and I guess that's, you know, sometimes to a fault, but it's, it's just best to, you know, put it out there and just mm -hmm. tell you what our thoughts are. And, you know, since I've lived there and, um, and I know, and like I said, we've been there 21 years and it's been a great house and it's fabulous, but, when that water came in, we had to get a company that came and ripped everything out. And I would just hate to have to see someone go through that, what we went through. So it, it's time for a new build. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. Well, yeah. but I wish you luck and, you. Um, you know, send me your contact information. So I have it. Yeah, please. If if you have anything else, I would love to hear about it. I'm looking for it. Yeah. Any uh any fix and hold, fix and flip. I'll do a little bit of building, but I'm more so uh fix and flip is what I'm looking for. Like okay. Yeah. Great. Good. That's good to know. Yeah, send me your contact information. I'll put you in my phone and I'll let you know if I come across anything. Sounds good. Thank you, Jane. You have a wonderful day. Okay, thank you. Take you care. too. Bye. Take care. Jane is a very wonderful lady. So polite. So we're gonna put her in the initial drop in. Actually, no, we're gonna put her in the um no, we'll put her in the um send by box. And the send contact card. basic follow-up cool so that's going to be on our kpis another mls listing called agent conversation plus also agent added 
and we are going to abandon this one. We are going to say abandon very high price. And we will say goodbye to it. Goodbye, Jane. Boom. And what are we at KPIs wise? 11 MLS listings called, five agent conversations, one agent added, three written offers, 11 agent follow up SMS, one wholesaler follow up SMS. And we can just keep calling, keep banging them out. Next one is Nancy O'Brien. Now, I don't know if I like the location that this one's in. Let me check. Yeah, this one's in a crappy location. It's too rural. So I'm going to skip this one because these are all ones from before, before we got like really specific. Um, abandon location. Update. Okay, 100 days on Zillow, price decrease. Don't see the price decrease. Two forty nine to two thirty five to two nineteen. Do I have any details on this one from before? Okay, let me call. Hey, you've reached Chad Ryman with Capital View. Okay, we'll double dial. <coughs> Do -ba -do -ba 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 -da -ba. Hey, you've reached Chad Ryman with Capital View Appraisals and Piney Woods Realty. Leave me a message. Okay, no answer. So we are going to move him to the no response category. Boom, and that'll automatically send him a text. And we are going to update our KPIs. That's another MLS listing call. And now back to the listings. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so let's call Kyle.
Thank you for calling. You've reached the voicemail of Kyle Williams. Okay, double dial. Thank you for calling. You have reached the voicemail. Okay. We will put him in the no response category. That'll automatically send him a text. And we will check our KPIs, MLS listing called. Nathan's feeling a little bit tired today. Because last night, Nathan worked an overnight shift at the uh, warming center because it was cold outside. But nobody showed up. So it was, like, it was, like, dissatisfying. Just sat there eating snacks. Okay. So. James McQuad. Is our next one. It's currently pending. Any information here about the AC roof water heater? Nope. Um, what's the location of it? I want to see where it is on the map. Yeah, that's an okay location. Hey there, you've reached Jim McQuaid with McQuaid Home Team and Magnus Realty Group. You're okay, we'll double dial him. Ah, caffeine. Answer. So we will put him in the no response category. <clears throat> and we will send him, that'll automatically send him a text. We'll update our KPIs and move on to the next one. Giovanna. We'll pull it up on Zillow real quick. Okay, we're going to give him a call. Your call has been forwarded to an no automatic. Answer. We will double dial. Beep boop. To an 
automatic well, voice message. No answer. Okay. So we will put him in the no response category and that will automatically send him a text. And then we will check another MLS listing call. And look at this. We have signs of life on the live stream. What's up, Tabitha? Tabitha says, love watching you make calls. Gets me pumped for making calls myself. It's a bit early here. So I start around 10 a.m. my time. Agents just rarely answer before then. Yeah, agents don't, don't answer nearly as much uh, before 10 a.m. I agree. But don't let that stop you from making your calls. I'm excited to uh, to give you that little thing that I built for the bots. I built this. I built this extra cool thing that will automatically enroll um, agents on the follow up campaign. So pretty much, whenever the objective is complete, it'll automatically enroll the agents on the follow up campaign. So it's like an early release. I'm super excited to give it to you today. Pretty sure we have our call today, right? Yeah, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. Cool. I'm excited. Okay. Let's pull this one up on Zillow. Okay. Uh, new roof 2016, building remodeled 2018. Yeah, it doesn't really look like remodeled, um, but okay. Let me give them a call. Hello, this is Yanni Peralta. Thank you for your call. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Nope, no answer. We will double dial. Hello, this is Yanni Peralta. Thank you for your call. Please leave a message. No answer. He will accept it and put her in the no response category. And then we will update our KPIs and move on to the next one. Pull it up on Zillow real quick. Tenant occupied, uh, HVAC system replaced in 2019. Let's see if we have notes on it. Yep. Okay, let me give him a call. Hey, Sarah, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Linda Drive. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I'm interested in it, but there's no photos online. So I don't know if I'm really interested or not interested at all. Yeah, there's a tenant in there right now. Um, so we haven't gotten any more pictures. I have the previous listing 
um, pictures if you just want to see that for now, or you can schedule a showing. Well, why, why is there no pictures? Why not just, has nobody scheduled a showing and you've not gotten in there and gotten photos? Like what's, what's the story on that? That's concerning. No. Do you want to schedule a showing? I don't. Not, not until I see okay. what the inside looks like. Is, is there any way that you are able to get photos? If I did, they'd be on there. Okay. Has anybody seen if I had any on this one yet? Like, what's what's the story on it? Say that again. Has anybody scheduled a showing on this one yet? Like, what's the story? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And were they not able to get photos? Like, why? Yeah, we've had agents show it to, to potential buyers. Yes. But if if I if you don't want to schedule a showing, then do you, can I help you any further than that? No, that's okay then. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Okay, so that one's just a waste of my time. So we will say no photos can't get them and hi. Price abandoned. Update. Okay, next one. Oh, yeah, we have to update our KPIs. Boom, there we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, do we have any details on this one? No, we don't. All right, let's call it Thomas. number you are trying to reach is currently not available oh, okay so that's uh, the number is not available it looks like carlos tried it a whole bunch and nothing worked um so i'm just gonna abandon it bad number and i'm going to put the number that is a bad number Don says, I would not have an agent like that with one of my properties. Yeah, it, they're definitely going to have a hard time selling it um, with an attitude like that. But then again, they probably have, she's probably fed up because, you know, she probably gets a bunch of calls and know that it's a lost cause. So I also have empathy for her. But like, why is it that you can't get photos? Like, tell me, tell me the reason why. Just, you know, let me know. Just be straight up. Yep. You got to vet your agents. Just because they have a license doesn't mean that they're a good agent. Diamond in the rough, calling all investors. House sits on a huge corner lot and needs rehab, but has great potential for buy and hold or Airbnb. Um, this looks like a teardown. Yeah, this pretty much looks like a teardown. Okay, let me call.
Hello, you reached Kenita Stewart of Florida Homes Realty. Oh. Hello, you reached to Nick Stewart of Florida Homes Realty and Mortgage. Please leave a brief message and I'll... Great, no answer. So we will put her in the no response category. <clears throat> Boom. And we will check our KPIs. And uno momento. I must use the washroom. Hold on. Because I'm human. Oh, here's my camera. There we go. Boom, I'm back. Um, Tabitha says, for all the ones that don't answer, do you typically get calls back in later in the day? Yeah, we do. Um, why is my face so bright? I need to get like a proper like DSCLR camera. There we go. That's better. But now it's too bright again. Um, yeah, I typically get calls back later in the day. Okay, next one. Okay, so this one looks like um, I don't know what the play is on this one. Do I have any notes on it? Let me give them a call. This is John DiGirolamo. Sorry, I missed your call. Leave a message. Okay, John didn't answer. Do, 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 do. This is John DiGirolamo. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, I will put him in the no response category. Update my KPIs. And yeah, uh, Verdon says, did you guys get a chance to do the KPI loom? Um, no, we didn't. Um, let me, let me ask my business partner. Oh, he's gone. He's at the gym. Okay. Hey, what's Ben doing? 
Why is Ben not doing anything? I'm watching you, Ben. I just added him in the Discord. I want to see if he's on. Um, what you doing, bro? How many leads are we at? There we go. Okay. I have I have Ben in my office. Or sorry, in my uh, Discord, and I'm watching him. He's kind of slow. He's kind of slow. He's taking taking longer than usual. Let's see. I asked him how many leads we're at. I bought a script twenty nine right now. Thank you, sir. Good stuff. Okay. Um, there we go. Back to work. <clears throat> okay. Next one is Gerald Hayes. I'm going to pull him up on Zillow real quick. Uh, Lewis says, hey, Nathan, have you been double closing lately? No. I've never done a double close. I've never had to do a double close. Okay, let's see. 29 new roof. Do I already have these notes? Let me check. No, I don't. Okay, so um, new roof, 2023, new AC in 2019, um, new cool heater, 2021, new hot water heater. Dude, what do you mean new hot water heater in 2017, bro? That was like eight years ago. Okay, let me call. Jerry Hayes, I am away from my desk. Please leave your name and phone number. We will double dial him. Hey, no answer. We will put him in the no response category. And we will track our KPIs. That's another uh, MLS listing called. Okay. And we have these ones remaining. 12 remaining. And Lewis says, how many deals are you guys assigning every month? So assigning versus closed is kind of like two totally different things. The question that I would recommend you ask people is like, how many deals are you closing every single month? Um, because I'll give you an example. In January, February, like we assigned a shitload of them. And then almost every single one fell through. Right. And it was really discouraging. It was like really, really discouraging. Um, I would say on average, we're closing about one per month right now. We're trying to pick that up. But yeah, the better question is like, how many deals do you close? Because people can assign a lot of them. Like, you know, in January, I think we assigned like six of them and like only one of them closed. Um, and it was just like it, it, it hit the team's morale pretty hard. Um, and we've been recovering from it, but 
yeah, better question is like, how many do you close? Um, and that would be around like one per month. Okay, so next one is Julie. So let's see here. So this one, it's decent, but it's got dated bathrooms. Um, two bedroom, yada, yada, yada. I don't really know about this one. I don't really think this one's worth me reaching out to. It's just not distressed enough. So I'm going to say abandon, not distressed enough. Truly abandoned. Okay, next one. Um, but before I do the next one, Tabitha says, how long have you been doing this business? So I first started in 2019 and I did it for eight months. In, I started in 2019, I did it for eight months and I did my first two deals in those eight months. And then I took a really, really long break in between. Like a lot of shit happened in my life, took a really long break in between. And I got back into it, back into it in October of a little over a year ago. So whatever that would be, um, it's 2024. So October, 2022. Um, so October, 2022, I got back into it and I joined Astro in February of 2023. And that was probably the best decision I ever made. Because, you know, I went from like doing it on my own, you know, being surrounded by like crappy people. And like, I don't, I don't, I, I didn't like it. Like I was trying to find my tribe, but like when you try to find your tribe in free groups, you surround yourself with those kind of people, right? Like people that like, people that aren't willing to fork out the money on a mentorship aren't really the people that I want to surround myself with because those are people that have a scarcity mindset. If, they, if they're not willing to fork out the money, they probably have a scarcity mindset. So getting connected with the Astro fam really was like the biggest thing for my success. And, you know, the first, it was like the first, like almost six months of being an Astro, the first almost six months didn't even close any deals, right? Like it was like, I kept putting in the work, kept posting my KPIs. Um, I called like 40,000 agents, no 50,000 agents. I don't know. I called so many agents on the auto dialer. Um, I felt like I was really like trying to like chisel through a concrete wall with a flathead screwdriver. Like, and you know, learning and growing, like I learned to do things more efficiently. Like at first I was just calling every agent in Florida asking for deals. Um, you know, I was getting over a bunch of mindset things like it, it really was all of my problems were stemming and, you know, they still do stem from mindset. Um, and, you know, when you surround yourself with a really positive community, um, you start to, you start to, you know, match their vibration and the astro flipping vibration is a very positive, loving um abundant vibration to be in but it takes some time to start to match that vibration so you know i things have been picking up um you know one thing that i i've been really proud on like like last month it was kind of discouraging last month you know when we had that many deals fall through um but that's okay because that was just character building you know we we learned some things but also you know when those deals fell through we started focusing on like, how can we monetize the social media, right? Because it, it scared us, you know, we got a little bit nervous. We're like, oh no, like, you know, we spend $3,500 a month on overhead, um, minimum $3,500 a month on overhead. So we asked ourselves, me and my business partner asked ourselves, we're like, 
well, like the overhead has to get paid. And, you know, if something like this were to ever happen again, how will the overhead get paid? Well, I don't want to have to come out of pocket for the overhead. So um, we got to work on monetizing the social media and, you know, through monetizing the social media came a lot of really, really good things for you guys. Like, for example, you know, the Privy affiliate, the Privy discount code, like that 30% discount code, we were able to monetize through that, right? You know, we give you guys a really good discount code. Plus, we get a little bit of a kickback and that brings some cash flow in, which helps secure us. Um, you know, the free buyer bot, um, the free buyer bot, acquisitions AI bot, the, that whole wholesaling snapshot, we get a commission from that, right? So we're able to give you this free snapshot, which most people would charge a shitload of money for. And, you know, we're able to bring in some residual from it. So though last month, you know, was a bit of a challenging one for us um, with all the deals falling through, we really did get blessed incredibly um by the cash flow because it, it put us in a position where we had to cat we where we had to monetize the social media and for the longest time i was showing up every single day and i wasn't i wasn't promoting anything right like i didn't have a product to sell didn't have anything um didn't have have like any kind of affiliates right didn't have discount codes for you guys didn't have any of those things and then when we were put in that position, when all those deals started uh, falling through and like we, we, we lost over $30,000 worth of uh, assignment fees over 30,000. I don't even know the exact number, but it was a really big amount. It was a really big amount. Um, and that, that was like the catalyst to us getting the social media monetized. So it's, it's provided a lot of value because we came out with the wholesale CRM 2.0 um, because of that. And that's helped so many of you guys. You know, we came out with uh, promoting Privy and the Finding Buyers Live call and whatnot, and um, and getting you guys that really good discount code for Privy because of that. Like all of those things stem from that. So really, really grateful because even in the challenges. And sorry for the tangent, but just kind of wanted to express myself here. Even even though some things might seem bad, right? They might seem like temporary defeat really like you don't know if it's good or bad until you look at it in hindsight when you're in the moment you might feel like oh no this is terrible but looking back on it like some of the some of the things that you thought were terrible in the moment end up being the catalyst um to really really good things in your life so always you know always keep heart and always stay persistent and it, and it might be a little bit challenging sometimes um staying persistent when things are going sideways but if you just stay persistent and you see it through things will always get better right things will always get better and the one thing that i always tell myself is persistence is your insurance policy against failure you literally cannot fail if you are persistent so stay persistent always show up that's that's the biggest thing right always show up even if you do a shit job show up show up make it a habit of showing up you'll get better you'll get better and and you know what's the best time to show up when you don't want to show up because that's when character is built show up when you don't want to show up and that's when character is built so anyways that's my little um expression let me get back to uh let me get back to dialing i appreciate you guys I, I like, I really, really appreciate you guys. You guys are the highlight of my day. So thank you guys for being here with me. Thank you, Tabitha. Okay, next one. Nancy Davis. Okay, we're going to pull this one up on Zillow. All right, good bones, yada, yada. City water and sewer. Looks like they started the reno, but didn't finish it. I want to see if I have any details on this one. No, I don't. So I'm going to give them a call. Hey, 
Nancy. Hi, Nancy. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on uh, Bayano Street. Oh, hey. I, I actually, that one is under contract. Oh, congratulations. Now. Oh, thanks. Thanks. That's awesome. Are, are you a buyer or an agent or? I'm a buyer. Do do you think that I should okay. put a backup offer on this one? I'm 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 interested in it. It looks like uh, just finishing off somebody's project, right? It it is. There's not much to do, and I'm so sorry. Your name again? Oh no worries. My name is Nathan Harris. Nathan, you're saying Nathan? For some reason, my phone is just not. It it doesn't seem to work properly today. So oh, no. you're saying Nathan or Mason? Nathan, N A T H A N. Okay, Nathan Harris. Oh, okay. Now, so uh, have, uh, tell me a little bit, Nathan, about what you're what you're looking for. What you're trying to do? What are you trying to do? Flips? Are you trying to do? just for uppers and rent or live in, or you just tell me. Sure. So we're looking for uh, single family homes over a thousand square feet, uh, fix and flip, fix and holds. Uh, we like light cosmetic, you know, it's the easiest to do, but we're not scared to do a full gut as well. Um, we're only really purchasing in major cities. So Northport is one of them. Uh, we love Tampa, Orlando, Jacksonville, and Let's see. What else do you need to know? Just, it just, it just gives me a, you know, to try and match properties with what it is, you know, that you're looking for. Uh, and, and certainly, you're welcome to put in a backup offer. Do you have a realtor? Would I be your realtor? Well, I can go about it two ways. I can come in unrepresented if the seller needs to net the most, or alternatively, if you think that it's um, worthwhile, you could represent me. Well, yeah, always, you know, always it's nice to have the seller and the buyer. Of, of course. course it is. I just didn't know if you were with a, a company. Sometimes they do have a realtor. Sometimes they don't. So it was just a question of, you know, I mean, it sounds like maybe you're with a group, Nathan, or is it just you? I, I have a couple of acquisitions people as well. A couple of what? I'm sorry. I have a couple of acquisitions people as well. I think Carlos. Oh, gotcha. I think Absolutely. Carlos reached out to you previously. I'm not sure if uh, he got on the phone with you, but I, I see some texts going back and forth. Oh, okay, Carlos. I, what was his last name? I get so many calls. Oh, no worries. It's, it's so hard. But if I did speak with Carlos then it would have been, like I tell everybody else, he's not going to take a low ball. We have had a zillion offers, and he does not. This is one of my investors. I've worked with him for many, many years. He will not, and this isn't me saying it, it's him. He will not take any low balls. He won't even look at them. He won't, he won't acknowledge them. And uh, so typically, you know, like if I did speak with Carlos, my my thought is maybe it was like a 150, 160 uh, offer that they that he was wanting to put in. Um, and you've got your notes here. But this gentleman is interested in full price, or if not full price, right there at it. Hmm. Okay. So that that, that weeds a lot of investors out, you know. Yeah. So what's what's he planning on doing? You think he's going to sell this to a conventional buyer, or how's that looking? Oh, it he 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 doesn't care. Um, he, you know, he's he's an older gentleman now, very savvy businessman, has done this for many many years, and he knows what he wants. And his thought is. If I don't get what I want, then I'll just keep it, continue to repair it, and and I'll, and ask for more money, or I will go ahead and put another renter in. You know, this is his mindset. So this is why, you know, he's he doesn't have to sell anything. He's, you know, this is you know what he 
this is what he wants and this is what, you know, it, it, he's he's wanting to get. So um, with that being said, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me that know. Makes sense. Yeah, I, I understand. Um, thank you for letting me know. Respectfully, I would pass on this one just because I, I know that the numbers wouldn't make sense. Um, at the price that he's asking. Exactly, exactly. Do you happen to have any other properties yeah. in original condition or, or things that I can fix and hold or fix and flip? Um, you know, right. I, I may have some things coming up, but um, again, it'll be it, it, what I'm doing is kind of selling off his properties as he gets the tenants out. Okay. But then, you know, he he wants what he thinks is fair, you know, because he knows not that much work needs to go into this. And, um, you know, he's seeing other properties, you know, that are selling, you know, for over 200. And so anyway, he just feels like this is fair. But with that being said, right now, this very moment, I don't, but I never know for sure what's coming up in the future, you know. Okay. Okay, well, how about this? So you're welcome to check that. Yeah, I would love to get something from you. You sound like a very respectful, uh, respectable woman. Um, so I'd love to work with oh. you. Why don't Why don't I send you my buying criteria and my contact card, and and we stay in touch. And if you come across okay. anything, I'm happy to give you my feedback on it. If it's a good deal, I'll buy it. If it's not, I'll just tell you why I won't buy it. That way, you have something to work with. All righty, that sounds great, Nathan. I appreciate it. Likewise. Do you have my you have my email, right? Um, I don't believe I do. What is your email address? It is Nancy at Anderson Davis R E dot com. Nancy at Anderson Davis R E dot com. Fantastic. And hey, question for you, Nancy. Do you have an iPhone? Sure. Okay, yeah. so why don't I send you my contact card? That way you get a, a pretty picture of me and everything. You bet. You bet. That'll work. Perfect. That'll work. Awesome. Well, thank you, Nancy. It was thank a pleasure you, speaking you. with you. You have a wonderful day. Oh, uh, you too. Appreciate it. Thank Take you. Bye-bye. What a, what a fabulous woman. Absolutely delightful speaking with her. Initial drop-in. Uh, here, here, we're going to do send, uh, contact card, boom, we're going to go send, buy box, boom. Okay. And then we're going to update our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called, agent conversation, and an agent added. And because I drink so much bloody coffee, I have to go pee again. So give me one second. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together from now until forever. Okay, cool. So that agent is really, really happy. Um, abandon. Way too high 
of our price. Okay, and we will abandon it. Goodbye, Nancy. I'm gonna hit that little refresh button, see if anything's updated. Um, Natting says, were you an agent before or had family in real estate? Nope, never been an agent. Don't don't have family. Oh, I mean like distant family in real estate in real estate, but nothing like nothing that I could clearly learn from or grow from. I just study communication and try to be a really good communicator. I try to talk to people about the things they like, you know, praise them, give them give them a good name to live up to. Um ask them open-ended questions, ask them questions about how they feel about things, um, listen to understand. And 90% of a conversation is just understanding the other person. Like 10% of it is expressing yourself. 90% of it is understanding the other person. So stop, stop thinking about like, how do I express myself? Start thinking about how do I understand what they're saying? How do I interpret what they want? How do I talk about them and their desires? Um, and that's how you make really good friends. Okay, next one. Okay, let's take a look. 2010 unrepaired settlement home, rental property since 20, 2016, vacant now. So let's see here. Condition 2010 unrepaired settlement home. Rental property since 2016. Vacant now. What else is there? Floors are uneven on the inside. Seller believes 2010 owner was able to get an insurance payout due to uneven floors. Okay, let me call them. Uh, Tony says, you ever thought about making your own Discord server? I just did. I actually just I used to be a mod. And but then I stopped being the mod. Hey, Randall. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Farmland Drive. Sure. Now, to start off, um, I'm aware that there's that sinkhole and whatnot. I'm capable of taking on a project like that. I just wanted to touch base with you before I start running my numbers and get your input on what's going to go into this property. You got a moment? Sure. sure. Okay, awesome. So could you just catch me up to speed on the situation? I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what you want me to say. Okay, so let's see. So it's an unrepaired uh, settlement. The floors are sloping. Um, what else to it? Is that, is that like sinkhole or do, do you have a report on that? I have a repair re estimate of um, thirty three, uh, $34,000. Okay. D do you happen to have like a report on uh, the extent of the damage though? I'm not sure what you mean. I don't have anything but a, a repair report. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Um we can we can figure out that in the uh in the inspection period. Um okay, let's see what else here do I need from you? There's no age of the roof. Do you have the age of the roof? It's old. Okay, so I'll budget for a roof as well. Are you are you a wholesaler? You're a wholesaler. Okay, gotcha. I'm a wholesaler. Yeah, no, I I work for. You're you're or you're a flipper. I mean, I I just entertain whatever exit strategy works for me. I don't really want to put myself in a box. I can flip it. I can wholesale I like it. That. Whatever, whatever works. Sure. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Yeah, this one definitely. I'm gonna need an inspection period on um, before I submit an offer, though. I don't want to waste your time. I noticed that it's it's a 
it's a decent decently high price um is there something that i'm missing on that or like why why that price greed maybe <laughs> oh man that's the first time i've heard an answer like that wow Okay. Do you think that it's worth me taking a shot on this one? No. No. Okay. Okay. No. Smart worries. people aren't going to buy this. You're a smart guy. We're not. You're not going to buy it. Um. But I've had forty some offers on it. Every single one of them declined. No. No. We accepted two of them, and then they walked. And they changed their mind after they walked. Yeah. Oh man. That sucks. You know, when you have a listing and you're just getting bombarded and nothing works out, that's it's kind of frustrating, isn't it? It's normal real estate to me, but yeah, I guess it is. So. You're right. It's pretty normal. Um, hey, do you have anything else that you think would be good for me? I, I took a little bit too long to get back on the phones, finding another project. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty eager to get into I got over a thousand guys in my system like you, and nobody buys anything from me. You're better off selling to me than buying from me, because I can get so much more from a, uh, you know, a hotel buyer. Okay. So my uh, track record of selling to uh, um, investors is, is, I mean, I used to sell, that's all I sold to, but now it's different. You know, nobody, nobody wants to buy my shit because I ask too much. <laughs> okay um so you thinking we should we should bring you whatever we're passing on and and you can get it assigned for us i don't think so no i also buy houses myself so it's unlikely that i will uh be able to uh sell something ch cheap enough for you to buy it okay okay no worries no worries we'll we'll just uh we'll just move on then but cool. I mean, if you come across anything, love to work with you. But I'm also not going to pressure you on yeah. it. You got thousands of people. Buddy, I got, I got, than you. I got six or seven guys that I do business with regularly ahead of you in line. It's just unlikely that I'll be able to uh, sell you anything. You know, you're just never going to buy it. Uh, I spent years and years uh, working with investors, and then I uh, basically, because of the you know the way the market is now, they're not. You're not going to buy my stuff. Okay. Okay, no worries. Well, thanks, Randall. I appreciate your, uh, right, your straightforwardness. You got it. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Interesting. Randall totally disqualified himself. Um, totally disqualified the lead. He was, like, selling me on why it's not a good deal. Interesting. Okay, we'll update our KPIs. That's another MLS listing call, another aging conversation. So, do we have any more completed in the underwriting? Yes, we do. We have three completed in the underwriting. So we will submit our offers on those. Um, Tony says, is it free to the public? If so, can you provide a link for me to join? Hey, so Tony, I I don't know if I'm going to be like opening it to the public yet. Like it's a free 
Discord, but I don't think I'm quite opening it to the public. I'm trying to just gather a group of um, people that I really resonate with um, to help set the culture. And then I'm thinking after the culture is really well established inside of there, then we're going to start opening the doors to um, to like less vetted people. Um, but right now, it's just anybody that's an astro student i'm welcoming them into the discord and once we have a really well established culture in there then i think i'm going to start opening it to people that are outside of astro flipping just because i really want to I, culture is a really important thing to me and i know from my experience building communities um that's what makes or breaks the community is culture and if you let in too many people that aren't of the same mindset that you're trying to um, establish or, you know, aren't in the same vibration that you're trying to establish, then it throws off the scales and the culture ends up becoming something different. So right now what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm taking just people that are in a really high vibration, really um, positive mindset and only bringing them in there. I'm going to let that culture establish and grow. And after we have a really well-established culture, people act in a certain way, they operate with an abundance, high vibration, um, they're loving and caring and, and just being fantastic people, which I already know they will be, but I just want to establish it, make it habit. Once, once that's been established, then I think we're going to slowly start taking in people um, that you know need to be elevated to that vibration. But right now, we want to just focus on like making an incredibly positive culture. Um, and the barrier for people to get in is they have to be part of astro flipping because astro flipping, there's a big mindset training. Um, so like, I already know that those are like pre vetted quality uh, people to be in. So if you're part of astro flipping, um, you can, you can get in, but if you're not part of astro flipping, I'm going to have to request that you just continue to hold tight until you know, we open it up to the public, but that's going to be a little bit from now. I'd recommend you just join Astro Flipping. I think that's the way to go. <clears throat> okay. So let's see here. Uh, spoke to Daryl. Got to make him an offer now. Oh, Tony says I am an Astro member. Oh, dude. Okay, so go into the Astro Flipping Elite Facebook group and look at, go go to my recent posts. I made a post about it yesterday. Um, if you go into the Astro Flipping Facebook group and you go to my recent posts, I made a, uh, a post about it yesterday and I give out a secret keyword. And if you get that secret keyword, then you can join the, you can join the server. So yeah, go in, go into the Astro Flipping group, find me, click on me, uh, look at my post from yesterday, and there's a secret keyword in that post. Text me that secret keyword, and I'll give you the instructions to join. Dude, that's awesome. I'm really happy that you're an Astro member because I was a little bit dissatisfied politely saying only astro members but also i take culture very very seriously offer four property address attach my proof of funds Let me know when you uh, when you find the keyword, but don't don't tell anybody the keyword outside of Astro. We gotta keep it super hush hush. Hey Daryl, just sent you an offer for property address.
Okay. We'll move him to the offer submitted category. Track our KPIs. That's another written offer submitted. And we will move on to the next one, Brandy Joy Thomas. Okay, this one is for abandon. So we are going to abandon it. Okay, next one, Marianne. Oh, this one's for abandoned too. Just ran my numbers. Not enough good. Comps, I will pass on it. Thank you. Okay, so respectfully tell her I'm going to pass and abandon. Okay, we are two hours and 12 minutes into. The live stream. And Nathan is getting hungry. So did I have so many messages? <clears throat> I need to get ten offers out today. Okay, let's click on unassigned. Let's look at my schedule. So I have about another hour of calling, and I'm only at four offers. Okay, come on, Nathan. Don't be a little butthead. Order yourself a burrito, get some food in your tummy, and then get back to work. Uber Eats. Bro, like, it's literally cheaper for me to order Uber Eats than it is for me to cook food for myself. Because there's this two-for-one uh, burrito special. So, Eats. And it's like two-for-one, and it costs me like 17 bucks. I want to get one free burrito bowl. Pardon my delay. I am just ordering my food. Please make it super duper extra spicy. I'm that dude that really loves burritos. Exclamation mark. OK. 
that. Go to checkout. Yeah, like it's just absolutely amazing. Um, look at this, $18.74 for two burrito bowls. I don't have to stop working. I don't have to go to the grocery store and buy food. And I don't have to cook it either. Like it just makes more sense to order Uber Eats. So it's hang tight. Awesome. Okay. And my order should arrive by 1.30 p.m. Sweet. Ah, just ordering Uber Eats makes me feel better already. Okay. Let's call the next one. Here, hold on. Actually, what am I doing? Um, where am I leaving off? So I want to clear out the Nathan Harris ones first before I assign more to myself. So I'm going to clear out anything that says Nathan Harris. Search it up on Zillow. <clears throat> this one, I mean, it seems nice. I don't know why Ben added it. Say abandon. It's too nice. Update. And then I will abandon it. Bye, Yuri. Okay, next one. Okay, this one's a little bit dated. Uh, nothing about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. So we're gonna call. Hey, Julie, my name is Nathan. You've reached Prime Real Estate. Unfortunately, we will double dial. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Prime. No answer. That is okay. We will track that as another MLS listing called. We will add her to the no response category. And move on to the next one. Our call has been forwarded to an automated board. No answer. We will double dial. Hello, Caroline. Hey, Kim. hey is this Kevin? It's Caroline, his transaction coordinator. How can I help you? Oh, hi. I, Sorry, did I call the wrong number or did it forward to your number? 
It's always to my number, sir. Oh, okay. I'm calling about his listing on Elmwood Drive. I just wanted to confirm some details before I submit my offer. Oh, we are actually under contract, just pending on the MLS. Oh, fantastic. That's amazing. Um, is that is that past the inspection period? Um, it wasn't there is no inspection period. Something. Oh, even better. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Hey, well, I guess I'll pass on this one then. Um, not like I have much of a choice not to pass. Uh, that's really great. Sorry. <laughs> no, no worries. Do you guys happen to have anything else in original condition or things that can use a little bit of love? I'm, I'm pretty desperate for my next project. I took too long to get back on the phones. I saw you. Um, not currently, but if you save my number, we do have things coming up. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, why don't I send you my buying criteria, proof of funds, contact card, all that exactly. Stuff. Yeah, that works. And, yeah, and I, I apologize, I didn't quite hear your name. What was it again? It's okay, it's Caroline. Car How do you spell that? C A R O L I N E, Car and then my last name, Silva S I L V A. Silver, Caroline Silver. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'll send you over that information now. And a uh, question for you. Is this an iPhone? Can I send you my contact card? It's not an iPhone. It's an Android. I'm sorry. Oh, you <laughs> poor soul. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wouldn't say that much. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you, I, I guess, I guess then again, I, I did call the number ending in 0752. Do you want me to text that number? That would have been an iPhone. Yeah. Yep. That, you can text me. Okay. That's so I, I can text that number, my, all my info. Yes, sir. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Caroline. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye. What a, what a lovely lady. Um, so we are going to do the uh, send buy box. And we are also going to do the um, send contact card. Cool. We're going to track that down as an MLS listing called agent conversation, agent added. And we are going to put some notes on this file. Abandon um, under contract. No IP update. Abandoned. Cool. Awesome. Next one, Carla. Oh, my goodness. I, I've seen this one before, and I don't like it, and I keep dodging it. Um, I'm going to abandon this one. Abandon. It's a uh, bunny shape. And I don't know how we will find similar comps. Plus, it's way too high of a price. Update. Okay, so 150 Cypress Club. Um, this is a condo. I'm not really a big fan of condos. They're just really hard to sell, especially um, luxury condos. Yeah, I'm going to pass on this. I'm going to say high price, plus it's a condo, so I don't really care. Abandon high price, plus it's a condo, so IDC. Okay, next one.
Okay, here we go. <clears throat> um, new roof, 2015. Let me call this one. Millet. Hello. Thank you for calling the companies of Acclaim Realty and Acclaim Management. Please listen closely Bro, to the following five options. I literally do not like those ones because they're not a good use of my time. You know what's weird? If you if you like reflect on the little things in that moment there, when I heard the answering service, I felt a little spike in my emotions of like frustration. Like, why would you waste my time? I felt that strike in emotion. And then I caught myself there and I'm like, wait a minute, <clears throat> wait a minute. Why did I let something external to me control my internal neurology? That's ridiculous i shouldn't do that so going forward when something like that happens i would just accept it and move on there's no point in letting you know little and it's these tiny things in life it's these really tiny things in life that will ex that will control your neurology your thoughts your feelings it really all i had there was i had an ill thought right so like when i called her and the answering service answered i had an ill irrational thought that why do they think they're more important than me? Why don't they just answer their call? And that made me frustrated and felt slightly hurt. And it's such a silly small thing. But like, if you really start to get in tune with yourself and start identifying and being aware, like you'll realize like that little silly small thing just changed my emotional state. But why should I let that change my emotional state? I am in control of my own emotional state. So now going forward, we change our thoughts, right? If we don't want that to happen again, we change our thoughts. We accept it. We say, this person just has an answering service. That's okay. You know, maybe they're busy. Maybe they have an alternative motive. That doesn't mean that they don't think I'm important. That doesn't mean that I should identify that as they don't like me. I, I, I you know, if I change the meaning of it, I'll change the feeling. And if I change the feeling, I'll change the reaction to it. And I will no longer be reacting. I will be responding. So just a quick little insight there that I picked up. Okay, so let me reset this. Okay, now these ones, I'm, what, what's this Denise Barillo? Let me check this one out real quick. Okay, new roof and impact windows 2019. Good to know. Thank you for calling CLS Negotiating Firm. At the moment, we are either on a call with another client or away from... Okay, I will double dial. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Hey, Denise. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about the property that you have listed on 131st. Okay. How are you, Nathan? I'm doing good. And you? Good. Thank you. How can I help you? So I just wanted to confirm some details. I, I was about to run my numbers, but realized I was missing some information. Um, so I see here we have a new roof 2019. Um as well as the impact windows. Do you have the age of the AC or is there even any uh, central AC in this property? Any button should be replaced. I don't know how old it is, but I know it has to be replaced. 
Okay, gotcha. So D needs to be replaced. Any major issues that I should budget for on this one? Nope. Um, the interior needs to be completely done, um, meaning flooring. There's some drywall that needs to be repaired. Kitchen and bathroom. They all have to. It, it has to be done. It's not livable. Of course. Okay. No problem. No problem. But it's small. It's 894 square feet, so it shouldn't take too much. In realtor terms, would that be charming or quaint? Uh, quaint. <laughs> it's interesting when you read these descriptions sometimes. I mean, look, I do, fl I flip properties too, so yep. I have vision. You have to have vision. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think a lot of the realtors nowadays are using chat GPT as well. You, you know, you know, what's the funniest is when I see them say, um, like, new roof in 2015 or something like that like just something that's a bit too much of a stretch yeah that's a bit for a new roof i mean it doesn't need a roof but it's not a new roof like this one's not a new roof but i mean 2019 is not bad yeah it's it's it's, it's not too old i mean it, it it's pushing it but it's getting it it's acceptable it's within five years it, it's really i i saw one the other day and it was like um it pretty much was saying that we should be grateful that it includes AC and a roof. I'm thinking like, what? Isn't that standard? Yeah. Like, especially in Florida. I mean, the roof, okay, but AC, we kind of need AC too. In oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're, we're, we're like in a toaster oven, if not. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me get to work on it. And do you want me to email you my offer? I, I think I have your email here. It's uh, yourrealtor.denise at gmail.com. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to email you my offer after I'm done run, running my number? Yes. Yes. I prefer email. Yeah. Okay, cool. Will do. And hey, Denise, I noticed, I, you know, I've been sending you the memes for a little bit now. Um, am I Am I on your buyers list? I'm not sure. Can you send me a text regarding that? Sure, will do. I'll uh, I'll send you my criteria as well as the email to send them to. Amazing. Awesome. Thank you, Denise. And I'll put you. I'll put, if you're not there, I'll put you in the. Perfect. I appreciate you. You have a wonderful day. We'll talk soon. Okay. Right. Okay. You as well. Right. Bye. Okay. So. Deals at Rising Star Investment.com. And then we have her on the basic follow up already. Good. Okay, so track our KPIs. It's another MLS listing called another agent conversation. Okay. And we will put this in the underwriting category. Boom. Um, Natting says, how are you coping with inspection? Do you have boots on the ground in the U.S.? Yeah, so we'll just send our buyers or we'll send a, a JV partner or whatever we got to do. We could even just send a photographer if we want. Um, or you can like purchase a home inspection. You can do whatever whatever you want. There's there's so many ways to go about it. But primarily, we just lock it up based on photos, and then we uh, we send our buyers up to it, and they confirm and they give us feedback. Okay, I'm gonna assign some more leads to myself.
Like we're just adding a whole bunch of leads to ourselves. <laughs> Okay, now let me switch it back to Nathan. And now we have 13 leads to call. Cool. Let's pull it up on Zillow real quick. What? My mud's hurting. There we go. I'm so behind on my offers right now. And I'm still live. Are you cool if we skip it? Question mark. Okay, so let's take a look at these photos real quick. Holy crap. Look at that property. Is that a teardown? No. You can just these all new siding. Really heavy rehab though. Roof replaced in 2017. Good to know. We'll take that down. And we're gonna call this one. Sir, we'll double dial. All has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. Okay, she said, sorry, I can't talk right now. Um, what we will do is we will add her to the no response category. That will automatically send her a text, and we'll update our KPIs and move on to the next one. Okay. Okay, nothing about the age of the roof, AC, or water heater. Let me give them a call. <laughs> Ooh, no. All right, come on, man. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Cynthia Rigler with Calford Realty and Design. Please leave a message at the tone, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I... Okay, no answer on the first call. We'll double dial them. Oh, hey, why is my camera out of...
right, you've reached the voicemail with Cynthia Wrigler with Calford okay, Realty. We'll answer. We will put her in the no response category. And then I'll send her a text. And we will track our KPIs. That's another MLS listing called. And today we have around a 30% uh, answer rate. Nope, did that lower? A mm, little bit higher than that. 30, 30. Five-ish percent answer rate. If we were to like take a guess, because we have twenty-seven MLS listings called and ten agent conversations, um, three agents added, four written offers. Okay, so let's call the next one. <clears throat> Nidia Rivera. Do, 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 do. Oh my God, look at that. My God. My God. Okay, let's go. Hello? Nidia, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hi, Nidia. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Buick Ave. Yeah. Hey, so just wanted to get your input. Is this one going to be a teardown, or do you think there's a way of saving it? Um, I prefer Spanish, please. Um, okay, I'll have my partner call. Take care. Okay, I'm going to have my partner call this one. So I'm going to let him know. All right, Ernesto. Needs uh, Mexican. Okay, cool. So we will move on to the next one. We will assign that one to Ernesto. And I'm not going to count that one of my KPIs because, like, there's just not really any point. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who thought of the idea to have a listing agent that only speaks Spanish in an English dominated country. Huh? Okay. Whatever. Um, dude, uh, Ben, why did you add this one, Ben? There are no photos. Let me check something. Is there photos on Privy? Let's see. No, no photos. Um, okay, let's see. Okay. 
On to the next. Short sale, um, we are going to abandon because it's a short sale. Okay, next one. <clears throat> Okay, this one's pending. <clears throat> um, let's see. Newer AC unit, pre-wired for security. Okay, let me call this one. Oh, I lost her there. Why, why is it hanging up on her? What, what, what is going on? Okay, weird. I'm just going to put her on the no response. And hopefully we'll catch her there. Dude's like, I relied on the description saying it needs some work. No photos. No. No photos, no ad. Please and thank you, sir. Please and thank you, sir. Okay, so then this one here, um, this is another one that Ben added. This one's fairly nice until you get into the bathroom, then you're like, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think this one's acceptable that he added it, as well as like the floors are really like torn up and that's just kind of overall gross. Um, but before I... Call this one, uh, roof replaced in 2019, new water heater, new electrical panel, hookup, total blown insulation. Let me take that down. Okay. And now I will call. Ring a ding ding. This is Lee from Blue Mountain Real Estate. So we're Mr. Okay, we will double dial him. Hi, 
this is Lee from Blue Mountain. Hey, no answer. We will put him in the no response category. Dang. We've been calling for almost three hours and we've only gotten five offers out. Why? Well, because we abandoned on a couple of them because they just didn't seem realistic. Okay. Or no, we've gotten four offers out, four written offers in the past three hours. Well, we just keep calling. My burritos are about to show up, which I'm really happy for. I really, really like it. I really love burritos. Okay, Kenneth Brown. New roof, 2023. This unique four-bedroom, three-bathroom house offers large mother-in-law suite with a separate entrance. Lots of updates to the house, yada, yada. Okay. Hey, Ken, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on College View Drive. Okay, what can I help you with it? Well, I was about to run my numbers and submit an offer, but I just wanted to confirm some details. That way I'm, uh, I'm spot on with my bids. So the uh, the I see that you have the roof here, 2023. Wanted to see if you had the age of the water heater, the HVAC, and if there's any major issues that I should budget for. The hot water heater is also fairly new. Um, the HVAC system, it's got uh, a dual. They have the one, main one for the house, but then he's got what they call like the split plan for the mother-in-law suite. Okay. And there's two of them back there. Those I believe are within a year and the other one's like five years old, but they're, they're a lease program. Oh no. So they're, they, you know, you can choose to get rid of the lease program and buy it out or continue with it whichever way you want to do but this way they they maintain them for free um well not for free obviously they got a monthly program but they're they're maintained all the time and replaced every few um i can't say every few years i think he said five to seven years they replace it so okay okay well i'll get more details on that if um if it seems like something we're going to take down is this currently uh vacant occupied Tenants, owner? It's vacant. He moved out about two weeks ago. Okay. So it is vacant. Okay. And I, I did notice, you know, the price is uh, pretty high on it. Is that negotiable? I believe I got a little bit of room there. Okay. Okay. But, you know, you'll see it right around the corner. There's one that sold for 385 Yeah, that's, but this one needs a lot of work. Though. A little bit better shape. Yeah. So, yeah. I figured when I try to price my homes, you know, for their condition and stuff, yeah, it needs some work. There's no doubt about it. But when it's done, it'd be a four hundred thousand dollar house. So, depending on how much effort you guys put in it and whatever. You know. mm -hmm. Do you think that somebody would buy this in its current condition? I, I think there's a little bit of room in, in its current condition. So. Okay. Do you, Do you think that you're gonna sell this to like a conventional buyer or a, or a flipper? I don't think he has a preference right now. Okay. Cause like I, as from a flippers perspective and I'm sure, you know, people have been giving you prices uh, fairly low, like low three hundreds or high two hundreds from a flippers perspective at three sixty, like they're going to lose money on it. 
Say that part again. You broke up a little bit. From a flipper's perspective, if anybody were to come in at 360, they'd end up losing money on it. If ARV is 400 and, you know, they come in at 360, they would be out money. Um, do you think that it's worth taking a shot if I'm like low 300s or like high 200s? No. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Um, let me run, let me run my numbers. Let me see what it looks like. If it's, you know, if we're too far off, I'll just let you know. Um, but if it's something yeah. we're taking a job, yeah, at, I, will... I believe I can convince them to go down to 350, but you know, the low 300s, high 200s, it's not, a, not even a chance. So. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thanks for letting me know. Um, let me get to work on running my yeah. numbers and I'll, uh, I'll send you what I'm thinking. What's your email address? It's. Ken Brown, my name, K E N B R O W N, okay. at exitfirst.net. So that'd be E X I T 1 S T for first and then dot net. Okay. Ken Brown at exit 1 S T dot net. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Don't spell out one, just a, just a symbol number yes. one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Ken. I'll uh, I'll fire you an email and then I'll send you a text letting you know that I, I sent you my offer. Right. You it have a wonderful great. day. Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye. Okay. Let me refresh. Make sure that his email is still there. Yep, it is. Okay. Track my KPIs. So another MLS listing called, another agent conversation. And I will move this to the underwriting category. Boom. Okay, now give me a second because my burritos are here. Never mind. I guess it's not here. Okay. So update. Why is it so bright on my face? Show chat. Cool. and so that refresh i have a call at 2 p.m meaning i only have a little bit more time to call mls listings and i'm not at my uh 10 offers mark so Is it user error? Maybe. Okay. Let me call this seller. Hi, this is Tanya. Hey, Tanya. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you listed on 98th. 
Okay. So I was about to run my numbers, but I realized there wasn't enough information. Um, do you have the age of the roof, AC, water heater, all that good stuff? Um, I think the roof is 18. It's, uh, it's no, the AC is uh, a wall unit. And what else you asked me? Uh, and the water heater. What about the water heater? The age of it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, any major issues with this property I should budget for? <laughs> um, not that I, I don't know. I, not that I know of, sir. <laughs> All right, excuse me. Okay. Um, is it currently owner occupied, tenant occupied? It'll be vacant once the uh, by closing. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Sneezing a whole bunch. Um, okay. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, yeah. let me get to work on my numbers. And, uh, and do you have an email that I can send you my offer to? I'll forward it to you now. You'll text it to me? Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Tanya. Have a wonderful day. Talk soon. You're welcome. Damn, dude, I sneeze so much. I don't know why. Just like got bombarded with sneezes there. Um, Netting says, by the way, does your proof of funds need to be in the millions? Um, so mine is for a million dollars, just so it's like a blanket one. It just makes my life easy. Okay. Okay, let's update my KPIs. Another MLS listing call, another agent conversation. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Pull it up on Zillow. Nothing about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. So I will give him a call. <laughs> Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. We will double dial. Always double dial. Hey, TJ. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have on 20th Street. Um, you have to give me more information. Uh, which property? Um, seven one two zero Northwest twentieth. Okay. Hey, so I don't want to interrupt you too long. I I hear that you're um in the middle of something. Just wanted to quickly get the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and I wanted to know if there's any major issues I should budget for. Um, so that has three offers, and we're going to make a decision today. Age of the roof, really not definitive, probably 2006. Okay. We don't have too much information on the property itself. Uh, it was a husband and wife, now it's just a wife, so information is limited because she was involved in most of those things. Okay. okay. Is it is it like through, is there any probate process or anything? No. No. Okay. All right. And what time should I have my offer in by? Um, she's gonna, we're, her and I are going to sit down this evening. So before the evening is over. Okay. Because we have three of them on the table. 
Okay, will do. Is there anything like other than price that's important that can help her out my offer? No. Any specific terms that would like be good for her? We do have an offer that's pretty uh, aggressive with no inspection. Okay. Helps. Okay. Well, I can uh I can see what I can do. Awesome. Well, TJ, okay, get... thank you so much for your... my pleasure. Uh, huh? Can okay. I get your email quickly? I'll I'll fire that over to you afterwards. Uh, it's TJ B as Thomas Jefferson Boy two two seven at gmail dot com. TJ B two two seven at gmail dot com. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, TJ. Take care. Talk soon. Thank you. Save, refresh. Okay, let me send it to underwriting. Okay, now we have four in underwriting. Good. And we have four offers out already. So we're getting, we're catching up. Um, that We're going to update our KPI. So that's another MLS listing called, another agent conversation. Okay. Sorry, one second. Okay. All right, brand new HVAC system, both installed in 2022. Okay, let me call. Bro, the virtual staging is so misleading. Hey, Stacy. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Longwood Court. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. And you? Good, thank you. Hey, so this um, this virtual state thing has me like really confused. That that flooring is not there, right? Correct. There's no flooring in the house at all. It's concrete. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else that I should know about it? I just want to make sure I'm I'm running my numbers on it correctly no everything else is in mls okay. newer roof newer ac newer water heater okay gotcha gotcha okay and is it currently owner occupied vacant tenant occupied it's vacant okay, cool awesome um any specific timeline that we need to buy it on or can we can we close whenever we want we can close whenever. Sweet. Okay. Let me run my numbers and uh, I'll send it to you. Can I can I get your email address? I'll text it Perfect. to you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Stacey. You're so easy to work with. Sure. All right. Take care. Okay. Bro, look at this. See this? This is all bullshit. This is not real. This is completely false. Um, that's what it actually is, right? 
they make it so misleading. Look, and that view, that view is fake as well. Like, I I don't think this should be allowed. I really don't think this should be allowed. I think this is like false advertising. Like, look at this. Like, that's completely fake. That's totally false advertising. Look at that. Look at the difference. See that? See that? All right. False advertising. Okay, and we're running out of leads, so we can assign more leads to ourselves. Okay. Let me pull this up on Zulu. Okay. Let me give him a call. Philippe. Your call has been. Hello? Hey, Philip. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you listed on 18th Ave. Hey, how's it going, buddy? How it's going are you? Pretty good. Thanks for asking. Um, how about you? I'm doing great. I'm doing Sweet. great. How can I help you today? Hey, so I was just about to run my numbers on this, but I realized I didn't have enough info. Um, I'm looking at this from the perspective of a flip. So I wanted to get the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and, and just know if there's any big ticket items that I should budget for. Um, the property um, the property was purchased um, a few years back by an investor. Um, haven't done like much to it, just being rented, it seems. 
If you're looking at the flip, I would definitely highly recommend you to think as a full update on it. Um, I think the owner purchased back in 2019, if I'm not wrong. Um, but it's a 4-2, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, property has almost 1,400 square feet. And it's currently rented. We are selling occupied, please just keep that in mind. Sure. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So if I'm, if I'm not wrong, uh, we do have impact windows over there. And I could take a look on the permits for roof to give you the exact date on it. But uh, I'm not in front of the listing right now, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Do you have an idea of how old the roof is? Like, is it most likely that I'm going to be replacing it? What's that? Is it most likely that I'm going to have to replace a roof? Um, I There's no active leaks on the property, um, but I wouldn't be able to guarantee what year is done. Because I know, like, insurance is, like, nowadays you're requesting, like, it used to be, like, 10 or, or younger. Yeah. Um, I can look up on the building department and, and let you know, but again, I'm not in front of my computer right now. Okay. How about the AC? Do you have any idea as to the age of the AC? I have, I have no idea on the age of, uh, of the major, major parts. Um, if you want it, here's what you can do. Uh, you can email me, email me all the, the ages you're trying to get out of it. And I can have the property management give me updates on like each specific item you're trying to get information on it Let's, and i'll let you know as soon as possible i can uh i can just pop on the uh permit site and see if it's there cool okay awesome well philippe let me get to work on this one and what's your what's your email address i'll email you my offer it's felipe de la justina at gmail.com it's on the bottom of the list are you are you no agent? i'm not so it's your first name last name at gmail.com correct okay. Okay. So are you cool if I just send you my offer terms and if it's something that works for the seller, do you want to write it up for yeah, us? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll I'll present it to the buyer. Sounds, to the seller. Good. Sounds good. Thanks, Philippe. I'll uh I'll send you a text once I once I email you my offer. All right. Take, take care. Okay. Cool. And we will track our KPIs. And where is my burrito bowl? Two minutes away. All right, guys, I got to bounce. Um, I have a meeting in nine minutes and I have a burrito bowl to eat, but appreciate you a ton. Um, just to finish off, our KPIs are 32 MLS listings called, 15 agent conversations, three agents added, four verbal offers, um, yada, yada, yada. Awesome. Well, I will see you tomorrow.